Psycho Isolation Chamber. Should try that. Hi. I'm not your friend, don't talk to me. Hey man, heard you like bowling. Nico, cousin, let's go bowling. Hmm, I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? I'm Raz. I'm a friend of your grandson. Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No, 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 no he's fine. That I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh... Has Lizzie introduced you to Harold? I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there's too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Oh, come on. Don't be an asshole, Agent Bull. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. I'm not gonna lie, it seems pretty cozy in there. Why'd you put yourself in here? Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> I need your help, man. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. With what? I just need a membership. That's all. I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. I promise oh, to give sorry. it back. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Huh? Okay. Please let me borrow your senior league membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off? Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one B coming up. Thanks, Agent Bull. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a B for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. It is pretty fucking adorable. Hi! Shut up. That is a fucking wonky looking beaver. Got like a fucking narwhal incisor. Look at that. Alright, frame rate, chill out. I know we're loading up the area, but you know. I came here looking for a B, but I can't ignore it. Cannot ignore that music. How the hell would I get up there? Hmm. Oh. 
I don't even need to. I don't know why I'm trying to jump from pole to pole. I can just go to the last one. Huh. How would I get over there? Ow. Eh, whatever. I'm not that worried about it. While I'm here, might as well talk to the asshole brother. Hey, Dion. Mm -hmm. You still hate me? Alright, fuck Bye, you, Dion. Dion. Guess I can go talk to Dad while I'm here. Didn't really get a chance to talk to him before. Oh, sensing some stray thoughts around. Stray thoughts. People might think this thought to him looks dorky, but I think it's cool. Not that way. <clears throat> this is promising. <clears throat> That's nice. That's one rank up for me. One new home for you, side challenge marker. Am I doing the pose right? I'm trying to place my fingers on my temple like my son does, but... He should be the one imitating you, sir. What? Oh, no. I don't want to hurt any feelings here. I can already tell that you are the most powerful psychic in your family. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Maybe if I got a little more... You fucking kiss ass. By the way, I'm a little confused here. Because at the end of the first game, Raz's dad shows up and he's like, I'm going to gonna give you everything I got. Right? And it sounded like he knew what he was talking about, but now, uh, now he doesn't. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Hmm. Clear your mind. Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. Nice one, Dad. Well, don't press harder on your temples. Uh, just keep practicing. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. That's not my mom. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Okay. Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Yeah, that's not Just good. Just keep practicing. That's it? Hmm. Really taking, really taking a liking to this stuff, huh? You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. Ask where you came from. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Gulovia. That's a sad story, son. But there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Uh, I'm guessing Maligula is the one who cursed our family, right? We probably performed for her and she didn't like it or something. Uh, okay. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind Dad. that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. What's that? Shut the fuck up, Norma. Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Rex. Oh, go fuck yourself, uh. kiss ass. 
What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? No, oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. <laughs> razzle-dazzle. <laughs> uh, you know why I'm smiling so much at that? It's because back in, like, Psychonauts, on my save files, I would just name them things like Raz Pizzazz, Razzle Dazzle, Raz Fraz. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am not telling him that. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. And be careful what you tell them, son. I'm more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? Fuck off, Norma. Don't you got someone else's ass to kiss? Jesus. I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm. True. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. Damn, dude. That woman's evil. I don't feel like I should talk about this in front of Norma. She's kind of a sniatch. What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son, she is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Golovia and came here to get away from the curse. Mm. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. I don't want to tell anyone about Frazy, right? All right, Norma, why are you such a kiss ass? I found some of those scavenger mission critical. Oh, oh my, that's my head. How embarrassing. No, that's impressive. Anyone can burn a pine cone, but to set your own head on fire? Ow! Shut the fuck watch up. It. That's my dad. You watch it. <laughs> set your own head on fire. What a bitch. Man, this part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Warning, the forgetful forest is not part of the questionable area recreation center and is not covered by our... I didn't even notice this thing was here. Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Brad, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Lizzie, what, what the hell are, are you, you doing out here? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals oh and you've never side blasted a squirrel nature boy uh i set one on fire anyway it's no use i'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals and there's no way i'm going in there why telekinetic bears <gasps> has nobody told you about the green needle witch who haunts these woods her mother was a banshee and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess, she hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so. Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. 
She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Even if they are related, I know which one is the cool one and which one I want to marry. It's so spooky. Lizzie, you're cool. There's probably nothing interesting. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Alright, well, I guess I just grab one, right? Uh, there we go. Okay. Just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe. Ooh, I got three. Even better. He said one. Not so fast. Lizzie. Okay, the fact that it's moving is different. Set again. The green needle witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Uh, before I leave, I want to go talk to Frazy. I want to see if anything's changed with her. Where's this damn thing? We go faster. Ah, now I'm dying. Now I'm gonna squish myself. Oh! Faster though. Whee! Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Frazy. Hey, Frazy. I can't believe Mom forgave you so easily. Dion's being a total jerk to me. What a newsflash. What else? Is the sky also blue? Hey, where's Sugar Cube? You mean my beautiful tiny horse? The one you kidnapped? She's with friends. She asked that I not tell you her location. No, she didn't. Don't tell me about my horse, Pooter. Bye, Frazy. Later, traitor. Oh, but Frazy. They're my big sister. We're supposed to be the best of friends. Huh. Well, a part of me wants to tell the family her secret, but it's not my place. It's not my place. Even though I really want to do it. Guess I'll go, uh, 
before I head out, guess I'll go check up on uh, the rest of the family. Ah, oh, shit. Now, where is the rest of the family? Uh, not that way. This way. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? How do you feel about dad being a psychic? How do you feel about dad being a psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is... Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? Uh, he's learning. You know, Agent Forsyth is a very important psychonaut, and she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Uh, we get along just fine, as long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. What you, the fuck? You latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes. And she looks really impressed. <laughs> Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy. Now don't get that big head. Okay. I just wanted to check up on the family, make sure everything's all right. Guess the only thing left to do with the family is to uh, look for the the small one dancing. I know he's up there, I just don't know how to get up there. Ah, fuck! Is that Harold? Ah, it's a squirrel. this out of my way. Where the hell is the, um, is the, uh, fast travel point? I know it's somewhere around here. Just don't know where it's at specifically. Should be in the parking lot, right? Oh, there it is. All right, I'll head back to the isolation chamber. Hi. Not your friend. Alright, Agent Bull, I have returned. Agent Bull, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah! I said one! I only needed one B! Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! 
I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no, don't all talk at once, please. I can't take it. I can't. It's too much. Too much. Oh no, don't explode. And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Okay. Uh, want me to kill the bees? You want me to kill those bees? No! Oh, yeah, you'll probably just... just hear their screams. Can I answer your mind? Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah! Uh. Great! Out of my way, bees! No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Cruel and unusual. Please remain standing. If you're able. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know I could even do that. I just like had I thought I had my um my uh blast equip. Ow! He threw the book at me! Literally! I'm just gonna take that again. It seemed to work last time. Let's take a five minute recess. That was pretty cool. Oh, no, 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 no! Captain! Anything but this! It's time for... What? Good evening. Oh my Welcome god, it's Zanato. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanato. And tonight, we'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me. Hit me. Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. <laughs> Pair it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear to... Ram it down! Finish your dish before the clock runs out and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box. Ooh. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? partner? Oh, come on, bull. Yeah, what was I expecting? Sounds easy enough. And Chef has the egg. <laughs> Let's see so if he remembers what to do with it. What? Get, get in there! 
Well, don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. Okay, but it uh, it's on a timer. Yep. Let's see. What's that sound? Hey, come on. Unruly onion. No. What am I going to do with this? Onion acquired. You won't be sorry. Let's see if he makes the cut. I'm ready for the knife. There you go. Interesting. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Put the poor chopper's hoof in it. What? Has begun, but it's not done. Okay. Just a raw chopped onion. Uh, wrong way. Uh, which way is the um? This way. On your egg, right here. <laughs> I'm coming. Ow. At least they don't overcook. Ow! No! I lost my egg. Okay, well, while I wait for that egg, I want to... Check this out. Uh, where is it? That would never happen to catch it. All right, Compton on his own. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I guess Cassie's covered in bees now. Ooh. Yes, Cassie left. All right. I forgot I could wall jump in this game. Ow. I'm here. Uh. Oh, it opened. I was only trying to help. Okay. Too many voices all at once. And you blew all the dogs up. Oh, God. Okay. That's interesting. I think I hear some emotional baggage here. Yep. Is my egg done? Hey, he's boiled the egg. We make a great team. Let's see if he can get it to the plate. There we go. He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I... I'm not sure. We'll find out, I, I suppose. Eat, 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 eat,
moments of evil. Will we be looking at a drowned day or a drowned contestant? Reveal! Just an egg and an onion. What the fuck? So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment. To create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bone appet. <laughs> Surprisingly acceptable. Okay. I'm confused. Uh, that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. <gasps> Yay! Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. Commercial? I'm a chef chef too. 